wait, why is that car coming out every time there's a crash? And why don't the other drivers overtake it? Huh? But that's because it's the safety car. It's its job. I, I don't understand. Well, after an accident, the FIA will release the safety car to slow down the rest of the group. It just, it just makes the track safer for stewards and drivers getting out of accidents and things. Oh. Well, that makes sense, but why aren't they overlapping it? There are actually heaps of rules that teams have to follow under the safety car, but the biggest is probably that there's no overtaking unless cars are unlapping themselves. Also, strategists are always preparing for the possibility of a safety car because they'll lose less time in grid places if they pit under a safety car. Wait, wouldn't a pit stop take the same amount of time? Well, the pit stop itself takes the same amount of time, but the grid itself isn't moving as fast, so therefore when the driver is in the pits, less cars are going past, so they're not losing as many places. Huh. I mean, it sounds like it makes for a pretty interesting race if the safety car comes out. In theory, yeah, but there are actually heaps of disadvantages to being under the safety car. The drivers, they're losing the amount of laps that they can overtake their opponent, so that is really affecting their race. But also, they have to keep their tyres and brakes at optimal temperature. So if they aren't getting the right amount of airflow into their brakes, they're actually going to get too hot. And alternatively to that, if they aren't keeping their tyres hot enough, they're going to harden and lose grip, which is why you see the cars moving like side to side behind the safety car like they're doing now. It's to keep their tyres warm. The other benefit as well is that the safety car actually bunches the cars together. So once the race does resume, it actually makes for pretty cool battles. Wow. I'm so lucky that I have you to explain F1 to me.